Up a lazy river where the old mill ran Meets the lazy river in the noonday sun Linger in the shade of What's happening? Welcome to the channel. My name is Kevon the Golden, and today, everybody, we will be watching House of the Dragon, season two, episode eight, the season finale. Um, this has been a real good season so far. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like it because it's kind of slow, but I like good dialogue. I just feel like in this episode, one thing I could wish for is one more battle. Because during this war, a lot of battles do happen, and you got to need to show some of these battles. Um, it's cool y'all talk about it in the councils and stuff, but some of these battles are very important and need to be shown. But other than that, yeah, I've been real um, satisfied with the season. I probably have three real good favorite episodes that I will probably watch and rewatch and rewatch. And, it's the episode when um, Otto got fired. My second favorite was the Battle of Rook's Rest. And my third one was when Rhaenyra just became a true target. The Rhaenyra became a true Targaryen episode. She was just living her life full of fire. And that's what I wanted to see with her throughout this whole series. After this whole series. We kind of seen a little bit of a tease of that in the beginning in her youth and things like that. I feel like she was more wild in her youth. She kind of grew up when she had them kids like every good mother should do. Um, but yeah, uh, that was one of my favorite episodes when she was really taking control. Um, but we shouldn't have to wait that long for the next season because we have another spin-off coming up next year and you can watch that right along with me because I will be reacting to Duncan Ed. Duncan Ed is two of my favorite characters of the whole world of Ice and Fire. Dunk is a very simple guy um, full of honor and somebody you can trust to the teeth. Um, and Ed is a very fun, interesting character to get it into a few shenanigans and you, he had that Targaryen size too, where he just got that fire heavy. Um, so it, most of the books they supposed to be keeping themselves secret, but they ain't gonna get into it because they, they coming out the TV show. But yeah, catch me for those reactions next summer. We will be watching that. If you want to see this full uncut reaction, go on here and subscribe to my Patreon. The link should be down in the description below. It's only five dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Five dollars. Go on here and sub up. And if you want to watch this live in action, you could go on here and subscribe to my Twitch, which is also down in the description below. Go on here and subscribe to my Twitch. We can watch this live. I read y'all comments. I'm finna read a comment right now. You got the OJ gloves on? Yeah, I got the OJ gloves on. You got my busy T gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> they fit, so I guess I'm going down. <laughs> um, but yeah, go on here and subscribe to all that. Let's stop wasting time. Just go ahead and jump to this episode. And also, let me know down in the comment what were some of y'all favorite episodes and what was your favorite character this season. If I didn't get into favorite characters, my favorite character this season was probably uh, Aegon. To be honest, it was Aegon this season. He really showed different sides of himself from season one. Season one, he was a drunk douchebag that was r wording people. This season, we saw a loving father who was trying his best to be a good king. That's a great character right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I said, let's not wasting time. Just jump to this episode. The Triarchy? Let's see. Triarchy. A monkey? This is, <laughs> this is fantasy, baby. It's the step stones. We will impose a simple tax on those passing through. Very well. If y'all don't say yes, Eamon finna be off with my head. Please, I'm begging y'all. Please, man. <laughs> Commander of our fleet must agree to go with you. His name is Lohar. The sailors are fiercely loyal to him. If, if he does not lead them, they will not fight. It's Thailand. What sort of man are you? Uh, I'm a golden lion, baby. 
I will not sail with a man who cannot best me. I'll beat the fuck out of you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Vega. Oh, what town? He's set to a crepes. They said, no, 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 Vega. No, Don't spin the block one more time. No, Vega. Some rum would have got this. Boy, you look like Kane when he took the mask off. <laughs> so, what was the fucking point in all this then? The gods are cruel, Your Grace, but I. Ask your mama that. Ask your grandfather that. They the ones who got you in this situation. Yes, he made a lot of dumb mistakes, but he wasn't trying to go for the throne himself. His father didn't die and say, forget Ray Nero, I want the throne. He was somewhere out drunk at party. Angry. There was no telling. Take me to my throne. And once he returns, I shall take him prisoner. When Rhaenyra descends on you with her seven dragons and you without Vega, what then? Or Sunfire, the gold and the most beautiful dragon. Moved the greater part of Harren Hall's gold reserves to the Iron Bank in Bravos. We can live well and remain until what is coming has passed. You want to take me to Essos to live with the goat fuckers? <laughs> oh my god! My dragon is dead. I am burnt. Not Sunfire? Disgusting and alone. He was such a good boy. RP Sunfire. Let your brother and the pretender destroy themselves in blood and bitterness when they are sweet will return and the people will rise up to meet us. I can you think they will welcome of two monsters as king in hand? Fear. You know how precious these people is in, <laughs> in Westeros? It's so bad, man. The realms, the light, you don't steal right near a shit. <laughs> Oh, Jace's hater of the year now. <laughs> Remove your feet from the table. I'd rather not. Ulf. It's not up to you. Ulf. Who's it up to then? Boy. Oh, those inner dragons coming out already. You oh, said cousin. Look at that hair. He is acting say. so funny. Dragon riders both. You and I. Cut from the same cloth. <laughs> he still so validated. If you hinder our efforts through sloth or unreadiness, I will see you hanged and your body fed to the dogs in the street. Oh my God, you are tripping, Jace. What is wrong with you? This is Damon. This is little Damon right here. <laughs> you are ready. You have six dragons under your banner. My ships sail at your command, and my men serve you. You must crush this beast at its head and before too many days have flown be right there is of course that's what a good hand giving good plan. advice your grace a word it seems the sheep house piper has been sold up river my vassals have sent a drove of swine instead you've arrived just in time to see my new army mm -hmm. we came just in time it's it's very large and in times like this Did you hear something? This place will have you barking at the moon. <laughs> Thank you, Damon ain't the only crazy you one. <laughs> and arm. If you declare yourself, your lords will follow you. Simon, you use your return cloak. But what we need in this moment is a king. Please do not go back to your old ways, Damon. <laughs> Not let him drag you down to the gutter. We don't discuss treachery in front of Wellwoods. It's going to bed. The crown has need of your service. Now. The pretenders raise new riders against us and we must answer in kind. I need you to fly with Trim Fire to battle. And. <laughs> you that desperate man. Leave Elena alone. It isn't a question. They have defiled our birthright, made commoners into dragons. It's a sin and must be punished. You're not even small with it like Damon. And you see now what And now you seek to corrupt your sister. Of all our line, the gentlest and most deserving of your protection. Who will protect her if she cannot protect herself? And who will she be if her mind is broken? It is no longer our rule that is threatened. Our very lives, would you not have us prevail? Not like this. I don't get both sides of the arguments. Like, we as at war, we could die any second and she don't not mount up. Like but this. 
Elena is very sweet and shouldn't be at war, in a war at all. Maybe he should have came in a better approach, kind of sweeter. Oh my God! Mud wrestling? Tyler, fight back, defend yourself. I love to try these try out few people. They so colorful. I don't love them like as a person, but like they look, they so colorful. It's just like y'all was now. Color just ain't show up when movies showed up. <laughs> King's Landing has sent a most doubting. He was fighting person. for his life. <laughs> I said, oh, that's right. That's right. I'm a ghost lion, baby. Big lion. Call me Tiger. <laughs> Betwixt the wind and water. Hoist me, lads, and hoist again. Salute the captain's daughter. Bravo, bravo. About time we got a song this season. About time. Oh, no! I will be pleased to sail at your side. And my captain is with me. Mm-hmm. Secure the little decent army. You are a handsome man, and you have proven your worth and virility. You trying to fuck I wish to have children by you. Come on. We in medieval times. I'm probably never gonna see you again. Let's let's do this right now, baby. Me <laughs> too. I want you to fuck my wives. That sounds like a great plan. The first plan sounded beautiful, but this plan sounds awesome. <laughs> the more wine here. Timing. Getting towed up to the flow to up. Free wine on command. <laughs> I was living it up. Oh, and some more of these little birds. But Lord Corliss is right. We must strike while we have the advantage and end this war. The strongholds of the usurper, Old Town and Lannisport and their armies, all must be subdued. Brenda. You wish for us to kill innocents? And so many. It is hard, but it cannot be helped. Right near the crew. We must break the What about Vega? She is fearsome. I'll take him on myself. Silver wings of garbage. Ah. We're afraid of nothing. There will be time enough. He said we're like it's a special bond now. Him and silver wings at the end. A knight will comport himself with grace at the queen's table. Best make me a knight then. This what happens when you, you let the yourself. scum of Fleet Bottom at your table. There is a message from Harren Hall, your grace. About time, Damon and Rainier back together Damon? again. I need it. But Sir Simon fears treachery. Simon, you are a snitch. I won't allow it. Adam, come with me. You like, I can't even go see my stepfather. What? Man, oh. <laughs> I hate it here. I'm going to the God's Wood. What you finna do there, Creepy? It's like something magical when it happens. <laughs> What the hell? What, what the? What in the seven hells? Was that an What was that by the wellwood tree? I swear, I swear I've seen an animal or something. But today you are ready. What are you finna see? You finna, you finna work or something? Hold on. What, what was going on? Did she make a sacrifice to it already? Or was that Damon's sacrifice? That was off Willem's head. Who's on the phone right now? First time seeing him. <laughs> How the hell did you hear Helena? <laughs> what the? What the hell? <laughs> you know what you must do. <laughs> it's the type of magic I've been needing. And if I refuse? Will you burn me as you did Egon? Yeah, she know about that. You should have known what she knew about that. Lie. I saw it. You'll be dead. You were swallowed up in the god's eye. And you were never seen again. I'm so happy she just opened with this now. Like, 
everybody's gonna be creeped out. <laughs> she is scared two people so far. <laughs> Jurassic's like, hold on, wait a minute. Is that my baby mama? He said, hold on. Who that new nigga you got with? Hold on. <laughs> nice land right there. The rounds the light. Sorry, right, say I'm right here. What's up? <laughs> like part of the Red Sea. <laughs> Watch out for your prince, your king. Say what you want? You bring me a lunch? <laughs> and to whom are you sworn? Oh, put him on Front Street. You better bend to me, Damon. He had a dream. The realm's only hope is a leader who can unite it, and my brother chose you. The Honorable Prince Damon, the Rogue Prince. He would never turn against his wife. You are the true queen, Rhaenyra. They even made me bend the knee in this motherfucker. All this for you, baby. I give you the world. And Damon. In the early Cridrujas, se par morojulias. No que costo un tabor. Say, I never leave you, baby. Si lutan. <laughs> my queen. I can't get away from you. Even my mom too. <laughs> Off the war then. For every one of us who falls, a hundred of them, there will be no mercy. Lead him, Damon. Lead him, Damon. Lead him, Damon. Lead him, Damon. Come on. Lord, come on. Let's die. Let's die by the thousands. Let's die. Trying to help you. Is this the help you offer after all these years? A reminder to be grateful. I mean no offense. You may go. <laughs> Do you know what it was like for you us? You are a terrible father. <laughs> Do you know what hunger does to a boy? What grief does? Shame. You are dismissed. I don't know about I some small folks' problems. I don't know. From cold dawn until sunset. And now that boy is dead. And his sister before him. And the earth took his place. And now, now, now you remember I live. He said, you owe me, man. I, I I've been needing this. Just let it all will out, bro. I serve you because I must. But if it is all the same, I will decline any offers of help. I do not believe my father would have wished this. He left you with no choice. No, he went to just. court sick, hobbled his ass up on that throne and said, this is my heir. What are y'all doing? I will never change my mind. Y'all are tweaking. <laughs> I had to see you. How, how, how the hell did you get here? <laughs> this is stupid at this point. This is stupid at this point. <laughs> How did the Queen Regent I think <laughs> sneak off the dragon stone? I don't care how close it is. How did they let that happen? She is not a dragon rider. My husband, my father, my lover, no. my son. The incorruptible queen sullies herself with a lover. Do not last me. talk so at done. the scepter should Your have been the last died, talk between them two. Trying to stop this desires. war. It's He's too late. You alone made virtue your Both y'all people have burnt thousands. Of you. Innocent. You said it yourself. Blood has been shed. Cities burned. Armies. Why have you come here? Yeah, why? Please tell me why have you come Aemon here. Aemon will soon fly to join Cole in the Riverlands. When he's gone, Helena as queen will be the crown's authority. If you come then to King's Landing, I will see to it that our guards throw down their arms. We will open the gates. We will shed no blood. Okay, this makes sense. Thank you. You will enter as a conqueror. <laughs> Thank you. 
What of Egon? Oh, we should have started with this. <laughs> he has many faults, but if he still heeds his mother, I believe I can prevail upon him to bend the knee. No, indeed. still. You defend him. Still, you yes, imagine you can have. If I am to take the throne, I must put an end to the opposition. Aim I aiming, gotta die. You and Elena can live. A son for a son. That's that Valerian blood sacrifice, I know. <laughs> I am at last myself. With no ambition greater than to walk where I please and to breathe the open air. You do that plan, I got you. A distant dream. Oh, off the war we go. I need it. Put it in me. Put it in me. I need war. I need war. I need dragon war. I don't care. I need regular war. Give it to me any type of way. <laughs> These dragon riders getting ready, armoring up, mounting up. <laughs> getting ready for battle. Hurry up, Raina! Hurry up! <laughs> the high tower arm. To Syria, the blue queen, baby. <laughs> Prince Damon gonna burn some up alive. <laughs> Got a nice force. Oh, they did King's Land. Chief Stiller. We got Otto! Who the hell got Otto? Ah, oh, they got up out of there. They bailed out. Alright, good thing for Larry's. I feel like this was a pretty decent season overall, but I feel like I wish it could have been longer. Because it's like most of the season was just a setup for the next season. That is understandable. You need to build the story and let out the whole plot lines but like some things could have happened you could have seen one more battle before this all ended like this last episode wasn't luke getting chopped out the sky by vega um it wasn't like it was probably in my opinion probably about an eight Probably about an eight overall finale. Uh, I was just, me personally, I was just hoping for a battle. <laughs> I keep saying it, but yeah. Um, the whole Rhaenyra and Allison trying to do the peace treaty. Um, at one point, this person wanted to do a peace with At the next point, the other person wanted to do a peace with uh, I could un I could let them slide with the first one, even though Rhaenyra was sneaking in the King's Landing as the most valuable person of this war. It's kind of stupid, and the most recognizable person in the realm was kind of stupid. But her trying to bring this war home and stop all the violence, you can kind of understand that when you're trying to do it one time, and at least you're trying, at least for the first time. The second time, after you've been told no, and there's nothing I can do about it, okay, what I'm supposed to do after that? I'm supposed to get ready for war myself. And when you come looking for a peace treaty, you got to understand what Rhaenyra says. Nothing I can do for your kids. You personally, yeah, you can go. I don't even care about you. You're not even important. Once um, Helena, the announcer of um, being a queen, she, she can leave with you. But yeah, your son, your two some sons, they gotta go. They gotta get up out of here. They're too dangerous. Especially the one eyed boy with the sapphire in his eye. They didn't really do a lot of sapphire in the eye <laughs> this season either. I guess it costs a lot of money, but yeah, I would like to see the sapphire he got in his eye. It's very cool. Everybody compare him to an anime villain. That really looked anime as f when um he got that sapphire showing. Um, I love to see that Damon finally came to assist us after all those spooky dreams and learning about prophecies and 
having dragon dreams, well with dreams. I don't know at this point. He's just dreaming his ass off about a whole lot of prophecy things that are very, as we see, are very important to the future of this um, addition to this universe. Uh, it seems like Damon been scared straight, basically. Uh, I'm glad he's still got that loving relationship with his wife. When it got real intimate, they spoke in high Valyrian like they used to. And that's this gave me hints that they was back locked in together. And I love to see that because I don't think this is going to be an eight season show. Only I heard they said they only going on about three, four, or five seasons. So I, I like seeing the niceness of these relationships with our characters, the, side, the characters that we feel for. And it was very good to see Damon finally stop being an a-hole. <laughs> he locked in now. He got his shit together. In Thailand, he always have it hard. If it's not a a kid that's bullying him, it's a pirate that's bullying him. Like, come on, like, can you catch a break? <laughs> but he end up every time somebody. I'm just saying, every time somebody bully him, it always kind of come up good for him. If you think about it, little Aegon kid. He didn't really have to deal with the kid no more because <laughs> he got um, Aegon. Aegon was kind of mean to him. He kind of yelling at times. He really ain't got to deal with Aegon that much. He is sneaking out somewhere trying to wait out this war. And when he did come back from that battle, he was too wounded and too hurt to really do anything in this council. And Eamon is his only problem now. Um, he conquered that pirate. Probably slept with her and all her wives. That's a great W. Riding out the war now. I can't wait to see next season. Um, and Duncan Egg, um, that is a show I will most definitely be watching, like I said in the beginning of the discussion. Um, I want to see a lot of jousting in that story. I know it is a story and it has a lot of character building, but a lot of the character is him being a knight, going to tourneys, watching jousting, competing in jousting, even melees and things like that. Um, going through the politics of selling your armor. I just can't wait to see them kind of go back to the small stuff. Just the, I love magic, don't get me wrong, but I also like regular medieval adaptation stories like Duncan Egg with a little bit of sprinkled magic. <laughs> uh, I like it all when it comes to fantasy. It don't matter. But yeah, um, trying to think of anything else that I missed. Oh, him. I love that he is referring to him and Sil Silverwing as one. It's like his wife and I. <laughs> I love seeing that bond. It's like he, he has a real pet. <laughs> um, but he is also kind of acting like an a-hole. Like Rhaenyra said the last episode, when y'all mount these dragons and become dragon lords and things like that, this will change you. This will boost your ego to whatever ego, if you, whatever ego you had, it will boost it times 10. And of Kind of had an ego, but not that much. He always was the type of person who would brag and say, oh, yeah, I'm Baylon's bastard. Yeah, yeah, I'm this person cousin, this, that and that. But they always kind of sh show shots of him not kind of being confident in what he was saying. And now he's just really confident, just being an asshole, bossing people around, telling them, let me get some three more of these birds and more wine, <laughs> being smart with the queen. Um, I just wish Ray Nero <laughs> just didn't get him. I, I, I don't like it either. I'm kind of with Jace at this point. 
you really can't kind of trust these people. You don't know them personally. These are not your family members. This is not Rainey's going out to battle on her dragon, your cousin. That is not a person you have grew up in a castle with all your life. So these are people from Lee Bottom and You really don't know much about them, and Flea Bottom has always been known for having a lot of crime. Um, even the first episode, Damon was cleaning up the streets because of so much crime going on at the, the Seri said the city got bad after his good queen, Alisane, grandmother died, and... That was very believable that the city will fall into squalor without somebody looking over it. You had old Jaharis. As long as the whole realm was probably good at that older age, he probably didn't care what was going on at the lower class of this city. But yeah, I hate to be that guy, but in this fantasy world, the people we have known from Flea Bottom, you got to keep an eye on them. I'm just saying, keep a guy, keep an eye on that guy. Hugh, he seems kind of honorable. Uh, I really trust Hugh. Even he was trying to correct off from some of his mistakes and the errors that he was making. Um, he seemed like he actually has experience speaking to high lords and princes and kings and things like that because he is a blacksmith. He would have talked to a lot of knights and lords that want to some of his work and things like that. They say you don't bring your own blacksmith. Who? A lot of people ain't that rich. They traveling with their own blacksmith now. I don't think that's a thing. But if it is, if you in King's Landing for a joust, like oh, I need to get a few dents out, uh, I might need a new set of armor, I need a new sword or something like that. I might need this and that. And maybe he has talked to a lot of these high lords. I'm just saying that's why he has so much class, as you will. Um. Pretty much, oh yeah, uh, Eamon burning that city, um, sharp points to the ground. That is a cold-hearted bastard. Um, I wish they would at least show that. They could at least show that, man. Y'all could, <laughs> could we at least see a city run and y'all not going to show a battle. <laughs> but I can't wait for next season. Let me know down in the comments what are y'all predictions, what, what do y'all hope to see next season seem like things are finna pick up we have all these armies marching towards each other what do y'all think gonna happen that's if you never read the books please if you read the books don't spoil nothing for anybody down in the comments please be considerate please but other than that thanks for watching everybody if you want to see this full uncut reaction go on here and subscribe to my patreon the link should be down in the description below and if you want to watch this live with me, you should go on here and subscribe to my Twitch, too. It should be in the description, too. And my Patreon is only $5, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Up the lazy river with a robin song. Quits a bright new morning, we can loaf along.